After the release of Madness at the Dark Moon Fair, we saw the first ever mini set in Hearthstone, which means that all 15 expansions before that did not have one. Welcome to the ninth episode of Mini Set Miracles, a series where I try to fix this mistake by going back to each older Hearthstone expansion and making my own mini sets. In this episode, we'll be looking at the cards I made for the Boomstay Project. The Boomstay Project told us about Dr. Boom's secret laboratory, where he tinkered with mad science. Among his unspeakable inventions, he had built the mechanized old god Mechathun, and in this mini set, we're about to find out that this was just the start of his mad creations. You see, Dr. Boom has in secret created robotic versions of all the old gods as terrifying doomsday machines, each with the capability of destroying the enemy hero. Welcome to the mini set for the Boomsday Project, which I have named Minions of Mass Destruction. Let's start by looking at the first of these doomsday machines, the legendary Mech Sharash for Warrior. Mech Sharage is a 10 mana 10 10 mech, and after it survives damage 10 times, it will destroy the enemy hero. So, all you need to do is buff Mech Sharage, summon him, not necessarily in that order, summon another minion that has at least 10 health, but not more than Mech Sharage, and then, if there are no other minions with less than 10 health on the battlefield, you could cast Blade Storm, and then you'd destroy the enemy hero. That sounds easy enough, right? I'm sure the other mechanized Ogards will be just as easy to use. Every third mini set also features the keywords and mechanics of the previous two mini sets. And since this is my third episode of a cycle, this mini set would also feature keywords and mechanics from the last two sets. Now you might be looking at that Death Knight card and thinking, wait a second, Death Knight didn't exist back in the Boomstay project, they shouldn't have a card. Well that's because this video will be following a certain rule set. You see these cards are made for standard Hearthstone today, with cards for all 11 classes using modern keywords. In addition to that, the plan is also that the entire Boomsday Project expansion would get re-released to standard alongside this mini set. Well, that's not entirely true. All of the expansion will return to standard except for a single card, Mechathun. This is because Mechathun would get completely replaced in standard by a new version. You see, Dr. Boom has been tinkering with his first Doomsday Machine in secret, and he has finally perfected it. Mechathun would return as... Megathun 2.0 Megathun 2.0 is an 8 mana 10 10 neutral legendary mech, and he has the Titan keyword. And before anyone says anything, I know Titan is not an evergreen keyword, but I just felt this was the perfect opportunity to use it again, and I think it works well in the miniset miracle series when used sparingly. Besides, Megathon 2.0 is hardly a titan you'd be excited to get as an excavate mage, and you'll see why in a second. In addition to being a titan, Megathon also has another effect. Once you've used up all three of its titan abilities, it'll destroy the enemy hero. Wow, that seems pretty good, right? So what are these titan abilities? Well, the first is the blue button. This one will destroy all friendly minions, except for Megathon 2.0. That might not seem that good, but wait till you see this next one. The next is green button. This one will destroy your deck. Okay. The final is red button. This one will discard your hand. So yeah, once you've activated Mechathun's three abilities, destroyed your entire board, your deck and discarded your hand, well then you'll destroy the enemy hero. This might seem impossible to trigger, but Dr. Boom isn't called a mad genius for nothing. Megathun surviving 3 turns seems implausible, so you probably gotta use all 3 of its abilities in a single turn, 2 turns at most. Well, you probably start by reducing Megathun's cost somehow, or you find a way to summon it to the battlefield. And then you get your hands on a magnetic spark bot with wind fury. Pop that thing onto your Megathun and it only needs to survive 1 turn, or you find a way to copy it somehow, and then BAM! You destroy the enemy hero. Easy peasy. The Boomstay Project also introduced a new type of card that would trigger a bonus if you have 10 mana crystals, called Omega Cards. 
are made a couple more Omega cards and this Ultra Omega card for Druid which will trigger its bonus if you have 11 mana crystals. Next up we got another of Dr. Boom's new Doomsday Machines, the neutral legendary Mechasoth. Megasoth is a 10 mana 10 10 mech with the ability to finish the game. You see, Megasoth will destroy the enemy hero after a friendly minion dies of each minion type. Wait, what? Okay, hear me out. You gotta get your hands on a lot of amalgams. Minions with the all minion type will count as any one of the types you're missing for this requirement, and this effect could trigger entirely from 11 amalgams dying. This effect might not be easy to complete now, but in two episodes time, the cards from Rise of Shadows would re-release to standard, which includes Hench Clan Hack. And maybe with these two cards you could trigger Megasaur's effect and destroy the enemy hero. The Booster project introduced the keyword Magnetic. You probably all remember what this keyword does since it recently returned to standard with the Titans expansion. Anyway, I've made a couple more cards that feature the magnetic keyword. I also made these cards that feature both the magnetic keyword and use mechanics from the last two sets. The last card I've made is Dr. Boom's final doomsday machine, the legendary for mage, Mexaron. Look upon the true face of death and know that your end comes soon. Mexaron is a 10 mana 10 10 mech, and after you cast a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 cost spell while Mexaron is still on the battlefield, well, then he will destroy the enemy hero. So, there you have it all of Dr. Boom's not so terrifying minions of mass destruction. If you're playing these, at least you'll probably be having fun while losing the game. Do you think you could make any of these new Doomsday Machines work? Let me know in the comments. That's it for this video, hit the like button if you enjoyed the episode and subscribe for more custom Hearthstone cards. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.